They are Ron and Brittany. As we continue on this road to reopening, babies and kids, they are back in daycare. They're back in school. As for their parents, they're back in the office and they are doing more social activities. And for those under the age of 11, they still can't get the COVID-19 vaccine, but they can still get the virus. So testing them, quarantining them is one way to limit COVID spread. The president of the New Mexico Pediatric Society tells me if kids and babies do have the virus, symptoms are pretty similar. So that cough, fever, runny nose, among others. And thanks to more accessibility to COVID tests, a pediatrician tells me if they have some symptoms, she COVID tests them, erring on the side of caution. And I tend to be on the more conservative side. I think it's important for a family to know if their baby has COVID so that they know that they need to quarantine and be extra careful around other people in their family or in their community. She wants parents to know that infants can go from a little sick to really sick very quickly. That said, she's urging parents to be extra cautious and call your doctor just in case. Now, I looked over Department of Health data and it shows for pediatrics. So for those under the age of 18, they actually made up 27% of recent COVID positive cases. And as we continue on this road to reopening, doctors, they are urging New Mexicans to get tested and to get vaccinated because both of those things are free, but hospital bills, they are not cheap. Reporting live here in Albuquerque, I'm Stella Sun, KOAT Action 7 News.